Hey guys, Bruno the Nook here, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to make thumbnails like I usually like you usually see on my last video from the Kidder to Tone live stream. Uh, yeah, whatever, whatever videos you see, I, like like for instance, you see like um, it should be loading up by now. Yeah, something like this, something like this. And, that, and by the way, that is a preview. It's going to be preview going to be the new video, and also I'm going to be showing you guys on how to make thumbnails like kind of like something like that, somewhere close enough to be like this. So what you're going to do here is um, hold up. I'm going to close this first, and uh, sorry for the background noise. People are, are doing stuff in my real. I'm I'm recording on my living room. Do you want to apologize for that? So what I'm gonna be doing here is gonna open up Google Chrome. If you want some like font, like you see right here, really cool font, you're you're gonna want to go to thefont.com. And what you do on thefont.com exactly, what you do is look for a bunch of um, bunch of fonts, and what you do is you download one, and and you download one, and you and you and then when you install it. it you get that font, that specific font. So I'm going to show you how to do it also. The first thing what you're going to do is pick the font. So you can do, it's okay to do on YouTube, but commercials, note that it's not okay. So I would usually do is use cartoon or comic. I, I recommend comic or cartoon. Well, specifically, I would recommend comic. What I would do is that I would go to your whatever whatever one you pick so see like you pick this one and it says uh, which one is this so like you pick that and what you do is click on this specific this uh your thing and what you're gonna do it this is it has a file this is a point dot ttf what you're gonna do is you're gonna take click this and you're gonna install this here once you're gonna once you done installing that done install that what you're also going to do is you're also going to pick whatever whatever picture you're going to pick. Say like I'm going to pick Gorod Krovy Black Ops 3 Black Ops 3 so What you're going to So I'm going to try to pick a 1080p or a 720p 720p bait 720p uh, 720p <laughs> I just stopped there for a second, my bad. It's 720p thumbnail, what you would, or 1080p, what you do is look for this specific, or 1080. What you do is that, you're gonna do is right click on here, and it says save as. Make sure that it's a JPEG, P -E J -P -E -G file. And it's, and what you're also gonna do is make sure to save. Now, you're gonna. What also you're gonna do next is um, you're gonna save to your computer or desktop, whatever you do it. And what also, I what also I have to do is you're gonna have to do is that you're gonna have to press it. You're gonna have to look for this called the, for your. Uh, and also, you might be asking what kind of what kind of so editing software, what kind of thumbnail software that you use to to make your thumbnails and stuff well what I use is paint.net and what I is paint.net and and also if you're looking for a picture that is told that is related to it you're gonna what you're gonna do is go see like I'm gonna pick the see like I'm going to put the see like the PPSH see like Keep this H forty. Oops, forty one. Hold that war. And what you're gonna do is click this and make sure that it is a JPEG, like a a a PNG based file to make sh make sure. And it says P. It does, and it has also the checkerboards, as you can see, kind of hiding there sort of hiding and make sure that it says it's a PNG image 
what you're gonna do is make sure it's a PNG file. Is you're gonna save that, and and what you're gonna do next, uh, look for it. It says outline object. Now you can find this on YouTube on tutorial. Uh, if you can't find it, I'll link you down to a description below. So what you're gonna do for layers is sometimes when you resize it, it's like like this, like width and height. It kind of changes to like where you don't want it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna press canvas sizes. Canvas sizes, and what you're gonna press is 720, 1280, my bad, 1280 by 720. And you're gonna press. What I would do is press a hundred. I'm gonna press. A, I'm gonna make sure the resolution is 100 pixels per inch. So what we're gonna do is press OK. And what I would do is I'm going to grab this magic one. What you're gonna do is click on this, and I would do is delete this. Press the delete button. Press the delete button. What you're next gonna to be doing is that you're gonna press layer. Oops. Sorry. I accidentally don't don't do what I just accidentally did. So what I did here is look for this, the garage crovy, whatever that is. Make sure it's a 1920 or 1080. I'm gonna do 1080, 1920 by 1080 this time. So what you're gonna do also is is look for this. Look for the logo that is related to it. Say like Gorod Krovy logo. I'm gonna look for the logo right now. It should be somewhere. Hold up, I don't see it. Oh, we're on Reddit right now, so we're gonna do is I'm gonna open this up. What you're gonna do is cop we're gonna save this as a PNG. I'm gonna pay save this as a PNG. And what you're also gonna be doing is Make sure to open up another, make sure to open the layer and go to import from file. And what you're going to do is you're going to look for your specific logo or the gun that is related to it. I'm going to put the PPSH because it is, it is in the game. So what you're going to do here next is you're going to... I'm gonna put put this in the thumbnail, just because it is in the game after all. Yeah, I'm repeating myself again. All right, what you're gonna do is do this. Repeat the same process I did. If you're looking, if you want to add your PNG to, uh, logo or whatever PNG logo. Whoa, it's way too big. Hold up. All right, I turns out I can't. What you're gonna do is get the specific thumbnail that you got for your what I'm gonna do is gonna look up I'm gonna put in the make sure that your text is big I don't want if it's like a little bit small it's like small if people won't able to read the thumbnail what you're gonna do what what put whatever color it works for you or or if you or if you guys prefer you can make you can make your your background blurry what you're gonna do is go to blurs and it says Gaussian blur and it, mine's is at 10 so I'm gonna put this at 10 that's what I would usually do is that I'm gonna put as layer 6 I would I'm gonna put in Gorod Provi and what you're also going to be, what you're going to do is click on your effects and it goes, it says outline object and make sure, usually I would put this at black, the color for the color black. So, so I would put this at black. So, and, and I would usually put this at black for the, uh, the outline color black. What I would mostly do in most of my most of my YouTube, not YouTube, but most of my thumbnails to be, to be exact, exact here, so I'm pretty kind of shy, just being on it, here, okay, I'm getting off topic, now I actually thought of it, sorry, it's pretty hilarious. What you're gonna do is make sure we're gonna repeat that again, and well, voila, your 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 
well, you're almost done yet, and what you're gonna do, what I would do next is I'm gonna put in the outline object, and I would put it in a different color. I'm gonna put it as blue, actually red, because because the logo is red too. So what you, I'm, I would sometimes do, I sometimes do that. What you're gonna do is gonna go to save as. I'm gonna put this as. Oh, you would you would save this as a type a tutorial. I would save this at whatever your name is. Save it. I'm gonna. I would save it and then save it to whatever it works. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video of me recording this. Leave a like, drop a comment, you see nice subscribe for the content. I might bring you goodbye.